55-inch TV with select mattress purchases. The customer appreciation sale going on now at Raymore and Flanagan. Rich's parents know he's out tonight because he drove his Hyundai with Blue Link technology that texts his parents whenever he drives farther, faster, or later than he should. His parents got the message. Now, so will he. The Hyundai Elantra and Sonata. The longer you look, the more there is to like. Lease a 2019 Sonata for only $159 a month or get up to $2,000 in total savings. Hurry, offers end January 31st. Don't miss the Save Big Sale at Mattress Firm. Right now, save up to $400 on the best brands like Beautyrest, Serta, and Sleepies. Take home a Serta Memory Foam Queen mattress for just $397. Hurry in. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. New Thursday, Sheldon's up for a Nobel Prize. Minus Amy? You think that I'm the kind of man who would sell out his partner for the chance of winning a Nobel Prize? Are you? Boy, I hope not. Then... Do you have any idea where I could obtain radioactive material? Kid genius Sheldon Cooper's got a new project. Do you happen to have any atomic bombs? Not a one. Shoot. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out... This won't end well. What a cute kid. Don't miss a new young Sheldon right after a new Big Bang Theory. CBS Thursday. <laughs> they seem excited. Yeah. Alicia Keys. And then one of them says, what's the Grammys, Alicia Keys? She might not have gotten quite the reaction she was hoping for when she told her young son she's been selected to host the upcoming Grammy Awards. We're excited, Alicia. Yeah. She posted this video to Twitter yesterday, the 15-time, 15-time Grammy-winning singer, say that again, and songwriter and producer will be making her debut as Master of Ceremonies for Music's Biggest Night. Number one, I think this is very unexpected. I think it's very exciting. You can watch the 61st Grammy Awards Sunday, February 10th, right here on your favorite network. That, of course, is CBS. I'm really psyched about this for her. I am, too. I'm psyched. I think she'll do a great job. She's well-respected and beloved in the industry. I think it'll be fun. And there. I love how her kids keep her grounded, right? Yeah. Her yeah. Like, you interrupted <laughs> magnetized for that. What's the Grammys, Mom? And the kids can hit the high notes. That's, true. <laughs> That's right. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York is jumping into the race for president in 2020. The Democratic Senate announced her candidacy last night on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. She joins a growing list of Democratic 2020 hopefuls that include several women. And Ed O'Keefe is on Capitol Hill. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Senator Gillibrand, now the second woman to join the Democratic presidential race. Women running for president isn't anything new. But having so many women running in the same race at the same time, that is. And it guarantees that the 2020 presidential contest is going to be unlike any we've seen before. I'm going to run for President of the United States because as a young mom, I'm going to fight for other people's kids as hard as I would fight for my own. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand made it official Tuesday night on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Asked about the ongoing shutdown, she directly attacked her would-be opponent, President Trump. He's created the problem himself. He's created this crisis himself. And he shouldn't be having a temper tantrum because he can't get what he wants. I was the first member to publish In a campaign video being released today, Gillibrand makes clear that Mr. Trump will be central to her campaign. I am not afraid of him, and I'm not afraid of his nasty language and his name calling. What this president is doing is inhumane and immoral. The 52-year-old joined the U.S. Senate in 2009, replacing Hillary Clinton, who had stepped down to serve as Secretary of State. Gillibrand joins a growing Democratic field that includes two men and one other woman, Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts. Rules matter. Rules made in Washington matter, and that's why I'm in this fight. Three more women are also expected to join the race. There's Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, who is set to make it official later this week. There are a lot of reasons for me uh, to make this decision. California Senator Kamala Harris is also on the verge of launching a campaign. Do you have a timetable um, for making a decision? Soon. And then there's Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar. I am taking my time uh, to talk to my family. They are on board. Since the 2016 presidential election, women have been making their voices heard. They're protesting, 
donating money and running for office in record numbers. I told little girls that they deserved every chance and opportunity to pursue their own dreams. But I didn't realize how many women were listening as well. On Capitol Hill, the guys are taking notice. What do you make of the fact that you have so many colleagues of both genders and then ultimately maybe more women who are running for president? I think it's great that a lot of people are running and particularly great that a lot of women are running. Let's get a lot of people out there and see who the best candidate to beat Donald Trump is. Senator Schumer declined to endorse his Empire State colleague Gillibrand, saying he's staying out of presidential politics, at least for now. And we should point out there are other men still considering a run. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown said last night that he's going to launch a tour of the early primary states of Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada before making a final decision. Gail? All right, Ed. It is a very exciting thing to watch. Thank you very much. An estimated 55 million meetings happen at workplaces across the nation every day. 55 million a day. One study shows nine out of ten employees admit to daydreaming during meetings, John Dickerson, and another <laughs> survey, 47% said having to attend too many meetings is a number one time waster. In New York, we asked some working professionals their opinions. Eight meetings is the most meetings I've been in in one day. I tend to multitask during long meetings. So many people will call meetings and they don't have an agenda ahead of time. They don't organize them. The longest meeting, I think, on average should be is 30 minutes. Coffee and food should be provided in every meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Steven Rogelberg offers his advice in his new book, The Surprise and Science of Meetings, how you can lead your team to peak performance. Good morning to you, Professor. Good, Good morning. morning. And your book got jokes, too. A, a meeting is an event where where meetings where minutes are taken and hours are wasted if I die I hope it's during a staff meeting because the transition to death would be so subtle <laughs> I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs died out when they stopped gathering food and starting having meetings to discuss gathering food so I thought I said this professor has a good sense of humor but I think you should start us with this why are meetings so bad well so yeah. 55 million meetings as you noted and do you know that less than 20% of managers receive any training on how to run a, leading, a meeting? And so they think they're doing a good job. They yeah. think they're doing a good yeah. job. We found in our research that when folks leave a meeting, there's one person who feels like the meeting went well. <laughs> the leader. The leader, right? And yes. it's not a surprise. They Other have all the, the people who weren't at the meeting. <laughs> yeah. They think it went very well. Yeah. I'm just shocked how many meetings are called without a clear agenda or a time limit with professionals, with presidents of organizations. There are these just habitual practices with meetings. People dial it in, right? They meet out of habit. They often default just to an hour meeting because that's the setting, the default setting on a Google Calendar or Outlook. There's just not thought being given to this topic. So you have some specific, how can you improve meetings? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what this book is about. Uh, what's exciting about this book is that there is um, decades of research yeah. on meetings and teams, and this work can be leveraged to fix this problem. So tell us. Tell us, okay. Yeah, how do you improve them? Yeah. Well, well, first step is get the book. Um, and then after <laughs> that... No fair, Stephen, no fair. <laughs> after that, um, it really comes down to this leader having a steward of others' time mindset. When a, a leader fully embraces the idea that they're a steward of others' time, they're going to start making deliberate choices. Mm -hmm. They're going to think carefully about who needs to be at the meeting. They're going to think carefully whether a meeting's even needed. And most importantly, they're going to facilitate the meeting, right? They're just not going to feature themselves mm -hmm. during the conversation. Instead, they're going to try to bring out the best in everyone, to have a real meaningful discourse. And I not just to have an agenda, but to think about the agenda beforehand, to put some real thought into it. Mm -hmm. Our research shows that having an agenda in of itself actually does nothing for meeting effectiveness. Mm -hmm. It all comes down to what's on that agenda. Did the leader even make any effort to solicit input from others? And you say that, that smaller meetings tend to be more effective. Why? As meetings expand in size, dysfunction also expands. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of reasons, right? When you have lots of people, you have communication issues, but you also have something called social loafing, mm -hmm. which is the idea that the more people there that are there, they start to just kind of blend into the crowd, and that's where the multitasking really comes. I like that you propose standing meetings, yes. and also that President Obama, Mark Zuckerberg, other people have walking meetings. Sure. 
I just want people to realize that there's a lot of different ways of having meetings. And the time of the meetings, too. You said 48 minutes, but you said Google has no more than 10 people in a meeting. Amazon has a two-pizza rule that if, if, if the meeting shouldn't be any bigger than can feed two pizza. Can, can, <laughs> the meeting shouldn't have more people than can eat two pizzas, is what she's trying to say. Yeah. Right. I mean, the, the fact is we want to keep meetings as lean sure. as possible. Yep. But interestingly, something that upsets people just as much as having too many meetings is not being invited to meetings. Mm. Really? So therefore, if we don't invite people to meetings and do them that favor, we still have to keep them in the loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank and you, And perhaps provide them with opportunities in the beginning of the meeting to share some input. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. I don't mind not being invited to a meeting. I really don't. <laughs> Stephen, Rogelberg, Stephen Rogelberg, we thank you very much. The thank name you. of the book that he would like you to buy <laughs> is A Surprising Science of Meetings. It's on sale now wherever you like to buy your books. Stephen will join our daily planning meeting this morning. You are? I am. Oh, Stephen's wow. joining our daily planning meeting this morning. I didn't know that. He'll share his takeaways That's and good. tips on the CBS This Morning Facebook page. Yeah, right. we not only report the news, we're also part of the news uh -huh. as well. You're Thanks gonna for be joining study. us. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> well, what do Audrey Hepburn, Sammy Davis Jr., and John F. Kennedy impersonator Von Meter have in common? Probably never even heard of him. Well, they're all subject of Mo Rocco's new <laughs> podcast called Mobituaries. There he is. Hi, Mo. He's Hi in there. our Toyota green room to show us how he's giving people from the past some recognition that may have missed first time around. But first, to check your local weather. Hi, everybody. Going to be a nice day today. We are expecting temperatures to climb close to 40 degrees, which is a little bit better than average. The normal high for this time of year is 34. Partial sunshine and a bit milder than where we've been over the past couple of days. The sun is up at 716, sets at 446. Your seven-day forecast, well, it includes two storms, one tomorrow night through Friday morning. That could snarl up the Friday morning commute. And then a bigger storm rolls in Saturday night through Sunday with several different types of precipitation. That's a check of your early morning forecast. Have a great day, everyone. More news stories from where you live. Eyewitness News, weeknights at 11. There's nothing quite like Chrome Sweet Chrome at Heart Infinity and George Heart Infinity. Get up to 20,000 off MSRP on select Infinities during the Service Loaner Sell Down event at both Heart Infinity locations. Right now, save up to 20,000 on select Infinities at Heart Infinity in Hartford and George Heart Infinity in Wallingford. GeorgeHeartInfinity.com. HeartInfinity.com. There's nothing sweeter than Chrome at Heart. For internet that gets you there faster, choose Cox High Speed Internet and get speeds up to one gig. Prices starting at $29.99 a month. How soon should you call me after your accident? Right now. When the going gets tough, get Carter. No phony sales, no high pressure, just honest advice and a friendly buying experience. That's what you get at Connecticut Mattress. Choose from brands like Beautyrest, iComfort, Tempur-Pedic, and more. And if you don't love your new bed, get every penny back. Connecticut Mattress. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. Dear men, we really need you to take better care of yourselves. You can start with Hartford HealthCare's Men's Health Services. Please do it for your health and someone you love. Taxes, you can't avoid them. That's why Uncle Sam wants you to go to Fast Eddie. Get the highest prices paid for your old broken gold and silver. Pay your next tax bill with a little help from Fast Eddie. For fast cash and the highest prices paid, come see Fast Eddie. When there's a storm coming, you don't take chances. You're really prepared. But are you ready to care for an aging parent or spouse? or the high costs of long-term care and nursing home expenses. Do you know how Medicaid planning can protect assets? Here's a little help. 
Sapiga Daily Pope and Pear. It's time to start planning today for your tomorrow. Today's best mix with today's best weather. Listen to the Anna and Raven show every morning for the Channel 3 early warning forecast. On Star 99.9, today's best mix. Yeah, well, here's my regret that I didn't have me a vice president like Joe Biden. I mean, look at those two going out for burgers. <laughs> <laughs> laughing it up. <laughs> I need that kind of VP, the kind that, that did dumb stuff to make me look smarter. <laughs> you know? Instead, I got the one guy that scares me more than my dad. <laughs> Good. Before iconic presidential impersonations on Saturday Night Live, like Will Ferrell playing President George W. Bush, there was John F. Kennedy impersonator Vaughn Meter. He performed on the Jack Parr Show in 1962. I say a raise from 25 to 35 is not completely out of accord when compared uh, to the uh, current uh, financial deficit on hand. Now, I trust that answers once and for all that question about your allowance, Caroline. Uh, <laughs> Peter gained fame for impersonating JFK, but the comedian faded from history after the president's death. In his new podcast and upcoming book, Mobituaries, CBS Sunday morning correspondent Mo Rocca looks at extraordinary people like Meter whose names you may not know. Rocca gives them his own version of an obituary, or as he calls it, a mobit. His book is published by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. He also looks at celebrities like Audrey Hepburn and how her death was overshadowed in 1993. She died on the same day as President Clinton's inauguration. Mo, well, good morning. Pushed her right off the front page. Yeah, yeah my good goodness. Good morning. Um, why have you decided on obits? Have you always been interested? I I've always loved obits. And, you know, there are people I've long been fascinated by, and I thought they didn't get the send-off they deserved or they didn't get any send-off at all. So, you know, we're doing episodes on Audrey Hepburn and on Neanderthals. There was never an obituary for Neanderthals when they died out 40,000 years ago. <laughs> yes. So it's a whole range of subjects. Oh, there have been yes. some around recently. Because <laughs> 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 you say the obit is really about your life and not really yeah. your death, and you're taking a look at that. Absolutely. I had never thought of it that way, actually, until yeah, you said I, it. Yeah, exactly. I think a, a good obituary is about the life of, per, of a uh -huh. person, right, rather than their death. And... Uh, and, you know, and these are people also that I feel sort of a personal connection to. I, um, Audrey Hepburn, you have a right, personal connection? In, yeah, in yeah. 1992, I was working at Macy's behind the fragrance counter. Really? And, uh, I was, yeah. And Audrey Hepburn <laughs> walked by How my counter. How far you come? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Audrey Hepburn walked right by my counter. And I'm telling you, the floor just the main floor there it just fell silent i mean even if there had been cell phones back there you never would have shoved your hand in front of her face for a selfie so what's something in the obituary that we might not know about audrey hepburn so i wanted to answer the question why 26 years after her death does she still trend on twitter why are we still so attached to her her career was only about 14 years long um there were stars that were bigger than she was but there's something there's she has a hold on us so we go into her personal history her war years and we hypothesize that what you see on camera is really rooted in kind of her childhood and and what she went through and that's there's something po punching through and so there's the history of the person of course but then the times in which they live which is lived. rich as well yeah exactly like with sammy davis jr who you know it's 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 axiomatic that he could do it all and he really could do it all um just a brilliant entertainer but that whole era is gone too where the marketplace appreciated somebody who could do it all because there were variety shows i like sitcom deaths and disappearances yes. that i never even thought about this remember when you say that you've loved uh TV since you were a little boy at nine, you memorized a TV guide. Right, I, I, I that says something about you. The neighbor didn't even know that you existed. You exactly. were in TV all the time. But you talk about Chuck Cunningham from Happy Days. He just went upstairs and never came down. The little girl on Family Matters, Judy Winslow, also walked down the aisle in a wedding and just sort of disappeared and no one ever explained. Vaporized. How many of these people? Yeah. Yes. Well, so on hour-long dramas, you know, people get killed off all the time. Yes. I was on Law and Order Criminal Intent and I blew up in a car. And, uh, and um, um, you know, on Game and of Thrones. And the fedora hat, too, right? Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. And, and Game of Thrones, 70% of the characters get killed off. Uh, that's an actual statistic. But in the sitcom <laughs> universe, people don't die generally. And uh, I talked to Henry Winkler about what happened to Richie Cunningham 
Cunningham's older brother, Chuck Cunningham, <laughs> who was in the first two seasons of Happy Days, you would bounce in a ball. Bas he would usually be, yeah, you know, like dribbling a basketball or eating a sandwich. And Gary Marshall was so good at what he did, the creator of Happy Days, that he decided, you know, the Fonz was becoming so popular. Richie Cunningham would go to the Fonz for advice on dating. Not so the Fonz became the older brother. And rather than making Chuck Cunningham's a disappearance a plot point, he, he knew that the audience would suspend disbelief enough to just. Be okay with him just, just, just disappearing. So he just went upstairs to his room. Yeah, exactly. and never came down. Right. He was, <laughs> he's the relative no one talked about. He was memorizing the TV guide, yes, apparently. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. Yes. You won me over by talking about Aunt Viv, the two Aunt Vivs on oh, the Fresh yeah, Prince right. of Bel Air. So thank you for that. I was a fan of the original. Just saying. Yes. Well, right. And if anyone remembers the vexing problem of the two Darrens on Bewitched, yes. that's a different that kind of disappearance where an actor disappears. And, and the Valerie show, it. the lead character, just sort of disappeared. Well, they did actually kill her off, oh. Valerie Harper. She was um, in a car accident. Exactly. They killed her off and uh, and replaced her, her character with Sammy Duncan. And the Mobituaries podcast launches tomorrow, and his book will come out this fall. Oh, and on today's CBS Wait, Morning podcast, you want to say the Mo, hurry up, hurry up. Kale. You have to subscribe. Hurry up. Superstar producer Kate, who's in her 20s, says, "Tell everybody to subscribe, rate, and review." I don't know what she's talking about, but just do it. Oh, I didn't know you were going to say that. Okay, go ahead, Nora. <laughs> You're watching CBS This Morning. Introducing the all-new Early Warning Weather Tracker on Eyewitness News. Dream job, working from home, but your internet, it don't work so hot. So you work from home at the coffee shop. Get the speed you need with Vantage by Frontier. You've got a friend on the digital frontier. Hands-free footwear, available exclusively in Connecticut at Holly Lane Shoes. Look forward, hit the gas, focus on the road before you. The redesigned Honda Civic, with standard Honda sensing and a multi-angle rear view camera. It's fun, always. Can can selling lots of brands of everything in cans cans with savings all across the stores. A can can brings you so much more. Stop up on your shopping list. A can can brings you all you wish. <laughs> A five pound box of Clementines is on sale for four ninety nine with your card. Uncanny. Come on in to Shoprite stores or save online. Stop up now. It's Shoprite's famous can can time. Oh, wow, you two are going to have such a great trip. Yeah, have fun. Thanks to you, we will. Aw, oh, stop. This is why Voya helps reach today's goals. All while helping you to and through retirement. Um, you guys are just going for a week, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Can you help with these? Oh, um, we're more of the plan, invest, and protect kind of help. Sorry, little pause. Right. So, but have fun. Send a postcard. Voya, Voya helping you to and through retirement. Top mattresses start at just $3.99. Softer landing guaranteed. I gotta try that again. One room of beautiful North American hardwood flooring installed for just $9.99. This is genuine Armstrong hardwood, the most trusted name in flooring. Call National Floors Direct at 888 floor Snow days. You love them or you don't. But cry or celebrate, one team is always here for you. Nobody does closings and delays like Channel 3. We don't have much time, I'm told. Okay. Do you want to say something? Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's it for us. I apologize. Sure Thank you. The CBS Evening News is If you've been hurt in a car accident, don't settle for less money than you deserve.
I'm Carter Mario. If you're my client, you're never alone. Clients come first. Yes, you can. Get Carter. That a girl? I'm fired up about fighting for the little guy. A law firm that's always there for you. So if you've been injured, don't worry. I've got your back. Get Carter. The new year just got really exciting here at Fao Drugs. The first shipment of the new year has arrived, and it's so special. Hundreds of rugs, handmade, airy, and of the minute contemporaries. Discover a new world of rugs now at Kaud. Styles and designs and colors you've never imagined. Start 2019 in style with a new rug chosen just for you. Every rug is on sale, so every rug is a smart choice. Start 2019 with a Kaud rug, and we'll all have a happy new year. Kaud Rugs, West Hartford Center, Manchester, Canton, Connecticut, and Holyoke, Mass. More and more general contractors choosing SK Lavery as their single source provider for appliances. With all the options with the big box store, the reason we come to Lavery is really for competitive numbers. And we like the fact that we can pick up the phone and talk to somebody for the service. If general contractors are shopping at SK Lavery, isn't it time you did too? SK Some of you are Honda owners and some of you are Toyota owners, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Will you be surprised to hear that Honda is the most reliable car company? Honda's reliable. Well, it's actually not Honda. Really? What? Toyota! It's not Toyota either. Chevy! Based on a nationwide survey, Chevy is more reliable than Toyota and Honda. Wow. Get $4,500 total cash allowance on select Equinox vehicles in stock when you finance with GM Financial. That's 16% below MSRP on this Chevy Equinox. Visit your Connecticut Chevy dealer. A typical day in the emergency department is really unpredictable. We manage controlled chaos. We never know what's coming through the door. No one ever makes an appointment to come up to the emergency department, and no one ever expects to be here. And so we really have to be ready for anything and everything that a person could imagine. And we really are experts in the first 30 minutes to six hours of anything. Now, your Eyewitness News morning update. Well, good morning. It's now 8.55. A 23-year-old man charged with stabbing a woman more than 30 times in front of her child in Hartford is due in court. Edgar Maldonado faces attempted murder and kidnapping charges. Police say the victim was covered in blood and screaming for help on Natick Street following that New Year's morning attack. At last check, that victim left the ICU and was moved to a rehab facility. Well, police in New Britain are looking for clues in a shooting on North Street. Officers rushed to that scene at about 8 o'clock last night. We're told the victim is a 34-year-old man. He was taken to the hospital. No word on his condition now. Neighbors in the area say they heard several shots. All right, here's Scott. All right, Irene, we're taking a look at a Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar that's scanning dry. That's going to change over the course of tomorrow night into Friday. Mostly clear and cold this morning. First storm comes in tomorrow night through Friday morning. That's the weaker of the two storms. And then a second stronger storm rolls in Saturday night through the day on Sunday, and they'll come with mixed precipitation, all different types. In the meantime, let's take a look at the temperature spread today. 35, 38. We could possibly get to 40 degrees for inland Connecticut, and especially for the shoreline, those temperatures might get to 40 as well. 27 right now at Bradley, 30 at Brainerd, 27 in Merritt, and the numbers aren't too bad out there. And there's a gentle breeze, which makes it feel just a little bit cooler, so the wind chill values have us in the mid to upper teens. As we move you through the day today, you can see a little bit of clouds out there so partly to mostly sunny skies can be expected that's what we've got for you in new london right now on our regional radar scanning dry as we move you through the day today temperatures will climb into the mid to upper 30s low 40s and then your seven-day forecast includes a colder day tomorrow. Once a front moves through later today, it's going to get colder. And then Thursday night through Friday, a little bit of snow, one to two to possibly three inches of snow on the ground by Friday morning. And then the bigger system rolls in Saturday night through Sunday. Have a great day. We'll see you for noon and better at three. Going into the celebrity Big Brother house? I'm outspoken, a little outrageous, and definitely over the top. Watch out, house guest. Anthony Scaramucci, Lolo Jones, Jonathan Bennett. I'm gonna own this house. Candy Burr. 